Richard Corey by Edwin Arlington Robinson. Let's read the poem first of all. Richard Corey. Whenever Richard Corey went downtown, we people on the pavement looked at him. He was a gentleman from soul to crown, clean favored and imperially slim. And he was always quietly arrayed and he was always human when he talked. But still, he fluttered pulses when he said, good morning. And he glittered when he walked. And he was rich. Yes, richer than a king. And admirably schooled in every grace. In fine, we thought that he was everything. To make us wish that we were in his place. So on we worked and waited for the light and went without meat and curse the bread. And Richard Corey, one calm summer night, went home and put a bullet through his head. Right? So that is the poem. So what is this poem about? This is a poem that is also categorized under the theme of society. Richard Corey, when we look at the topic itself, we realize that, okay, this is about someone, right? There is something about someone. Whenever Richard Corey went downtown, the people on the pavement looked at him. When this gentleman went here and there in the town, you know, how did the others actually look at him? He was a gentleman from Saul to Cross. Everyone thought that he was a great gentleman. Why? He had all the outward appearance of a gentleman, clean favored, right? Or like um, yeah, he was very clean in his suit and imperially slim, like, you know, he had a royal look. And he was always quietly arrayed, very nicely uh, arrayed or dressed. He was always human, very kind hearted, but uh, still he fluttered or moved pulses when he said, Good morning, and glittered when he walked. And he always told good morning for everyone. And others got shocked, right? Because others were poor ones. No one else greeted them. And glittered when he walks. So when uh, Richard Corey actually walks in the street, how do you see? It's like, you know, he is sparkling. Right, so glittered when he walked, right? It can have two meanings. Maybe his uh, clothes were so shiny and beautiful, but on the other hand, it can also be his valid. So he has so much good values in it. So when he walks, it's like bubbling, sparkling with the goodness he has. Everyone loves him, likes him. He cares for the others because of those. And he was rich. Yes, Richard and a king, an admirably school in every grace. He did uh, go to school like all of us, but he had a kind of different education. What was it? He admirably schooled in every grace. He learned manners. He learned courtesy. In fine, we thought that he was everything to make us uh, wish that we were in his place. So always the people or the outsiders who looked at uh, this uh, Richard Cole told them, oh, what a great man. We should try to be like him. So onward, whatever they think life is going on, they just go on and waited for the light and they wait for some enlightenment. What is this light? Maybe to become richer than earlier. Maybe to become, uh, you know, like, uh, Richard Corey. So anyway, they waited or maybe education, right? They waited for the light and went without the meat. So what happened most of the time, right? They don't even get enough food and curse the bread. So when they can't get the bread, they curse it. And Richard Corey, one calm summer night, went home and put a bullet through his head. Right, so like um, 
all the other people in the town actually believe that Richard Corey is the happiest man, greatest man, the most important gentleman, and everyone wanted to be like him. But now see, more than the poor people who wanted to be like him, Richard Corey himself had a lot of sadness in him. Otherwise, he would never have committed suicide. So basically, the sense of the poem is that for a poor man, wealth is his dream. A poor man thinks I should collect more and more money. And he expects that wealth can bring him happiness. And a poor man thinks if I collect money, I can be happy. I can be rich. And every comfort in the world. On the other hand, a man who has wealth and all the materialistic things in life may not have happiness. Now think about Richard Corey, he had clothes and everything, right? But he was not happy, right? So Lays and Sahane and company, to make him feel blessed, right? So even Richard Corey, he showed, you know, a positive outlook, but he was not happy inside. And maybe he didn't have family or friends or loved ones to care, so he was too sad. And right now, that, that, like this actually, or thus, the poet not only talks about Richard Cole, but also the expectations of the majority in the society. The jealousies of the people, or Anangi we don't have that. So, jealousies in the society. And also, it's about classism. Classic Anuva, Komude Golangi. Uh, right? uh, because uh, Richard Corey anyway seems to be a you know very rich person. He can get anything and everything. But inside him, he was not happy. That's why he committed suicide. That's very clear. And um, so theme-wise, uh, we can understand appearance was deceptive. He showed a happy face. But he was not happy. He was hiding that uh, unhappiness. Happiness cannot be bought with money. You have nice clothes and everything, but if you don't have, uh, if you don't have uh, happiness, you can't buy it. And technique-wise, we find simple language, comparison, contrast, visual images, etc. Right? And uh, would you like to, after discussing about the poem, to think about the answer for this question? Pleasant outward appearance of a person can never assure that he is a happy man. Pleasant outward appearance, right? So, Pitatam Penuma, outward appearance, can never assure that he is happy, right? Never. that he is happy right so what are the main points of the question outward appearance right never you know you can say uh, he is a happy man right so uh, the the simply the simple idea of the question is that uh, by looking at the outward physical features of a person the clothes or the dress of a person you can't say he's happy but whenever we see a very rich one a celebrity or a powerful person we think that okay, they are happy they should be happy they have everything but richard core is the best example that showed that no money cannot buy happiness and uh, you know, maybe the poor people who want to be like Richard Corey are happier than Richard Corey, right? And also, it's important to note that, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, our appearance, you know, some people are sad, they never want to show it. So they have or they adopt, uh, like a mask, they adopt a happy face. So maybe Richard Corey was a person who was unhappy but never wanted to tell it. He wanted to hide these secrets, hide these problems. So anyway, through this poem, the writer talks to us about, talks to us about the society. In the society, people are different. Some are rich, some are good, some are not good, some are poor. 
right? So different things, different uh, uh, different uh, kind of segments are there in society, right? And anyway, we can't just look at a person's face and dress and say he's happy or he's rich. We should be careful about that. And also the poem reminds us it's good to be happy with what you have, right? And also it's, it's a poem that tells about having uh, realistic dreams. My poem make up the keno in a Atartava the dream, if I can now niko coma, Samaji in a town, Niki in Nahitra, Richard Koriva gave in. They don't get satisfied with what they have. Egon other Tiana, they get satisfied not to Egon Sakana, Richard Korivan. So they are they are always unhappy then. A dream make a humble when I come humble with an other than it. Right? So, like that, it's a beautiful poem about. Outward appearance. You can't never you can never tell about a person by looking at that. So practice more, right? Okay, let's.